the few gates, a family who lived in the hills of Kentucky, commonly known as the Blue Few Gates or the Blue People of Kentucky. Who were these people? Were they even human beings? Let's find out what this is all about. Martin Fugate and Elizabeth Smith, who had married and settled near Hazard, Kentucky around 1820, were both carriers of the recessive methemoglobinemia met age gene. As a result, four of their seven children exhibited blue skin and continued progenation within the very limited local gene pool ensured that many descendants of the Fugates were born with mad age. Methemoglobinemia is a blood disorder in which an abnormal amount of methemoglobin, a form of hemoglobin, is produced according to the National Institutes for Health. Hemoglobin is responsible for distributing oxygen to the body and without oxygen the heart, brain and muscles can die. In methemoglobinemia, the hemoglobin is unable to carry oxygen and it also makes it difficult for infected hemoglobin to release oxygen effectively to body tissues. Patient's lips are purple, the skin looks blue and the blood is chocolate colored because it is not oxygenated. Normally, people have less than about 1% of methemoglobin when those levels rise to greater than 20%, heart abnormalities and seizures and even death can occur. But at levels of between 10 and 20%, a person can develop blue skin without any other symptoms. The gene was transmitted among the local population throughout intermarriage, which led to a large concentration in the hazard area. In the 20th century, word got out about this case in the medical community. Nurse Ruth Pendergrass and the hematologist Madison Cavine III made a detailed study of their condition and ancestry. Cavine treated the family with methylene blue, which eased their symptoms and reduced the blue coloring of their skin. Most of the Fugates lived long and healthy lives. Benjamin Stacy, born in 1975, is the last known descendant of the Fugates to have been born exhibiting the characteristic blue color of the disorder, though the quickly lost his blue skin tone exhibiting only blue tinge on his lips and fingertips if he was cold or agitated. It has been speculated that some other Americans who inherited this disorder may also have had Fugate ancestors but searches for direct links so far proved inconclusive. Will this gene return? Who knows? Maybe the answer is written somewhere in the stars. <laughs> 